Welcome to the Art for Healing Project. I'm Katherine Thomas and I'm your host. We're here at Ponto Lambert Studio in Sarasota and we've got a fantastic show for you today. So you stay right there and I'll meet you right back here. Welcome to the Art for Healing Project. I'm Katherine Thomas. Today we're going to do a really fun, I would say this is one of my most popular paintings at my studio. It's called Blood Moon and it is um, a beautiful painting and it's a lot easier than it looks. A lot of times when people see this painting they're like, oh I can't paint that. Well believe me, you can paint this. So I'm going to start out. Um, for those of you who don't know, I don't spend a lot of money on art supplies. Art does not have to be expensive. Anyone can do it, it's fun. And so um, I'm gonna start out with my very inexpensive little brush here. I call Big Roundy. This is my workhorse brush. This is just a kid's brush that I bought in the kids section. It's not even an important brush, but I use it for almost everything. And I'm gonna start out with this brush. I also don't mix my colors on the palette like most artists. So I also, if you wanna save a little money, I use a paper plate. So we're gonna start out, we're gonna paint the sky and it's gonna be kind of a night sky, and we're gonna use Mars Black, Cadmium Red, Medium Hue, and titan um, titan Titanium White, oh goodness. <laughs> so the way I paint is I stick my brush in the colors and I just start smushing them onto the canvas. So I'm gonna actually put it in the black, I'm gonna put it in the red, and I'm gonna put it in the white. And I know that's gonna seem like a weird way to start, but this is what I get. Now you can see the black is very strong. You don't even see any red. So I'm gonna put more red in there and I'm just gonna start smearing it. Put more white. Again, a little bit of black goes a long way. I do need to keep putting the black in there. So I'm using white and red and black. I'm going left to right because I'm making a nice streaky sky. Got some red, got some black, got some white. Ooh, that's a lot of black. More white, more red. This is the part that I love, just watching the colors unfold in all different ways. I'm gonna go about halfway down. And now I'm gonna start doing the bottom half of the background. Now for the bottom half of the background, I am gonna be using um, phthalo green, my favorite color, and um, more titanium white, and also a little black. So you can see how this matches it, and it's kind of a dark, it's gonna be a dark night. But for this part of the painting, I'm not gonna go back and forth because that would be too much left and right action. So I'm gonna go in a bunch of different directions and I'm even gonna go a little bit up into the, the top so that it's not a solid line. I'm just gonna use plenty of white, plenty of green. I'm gonna go in different directions and create some texture. Now you notice I didn't even clean my brush and that's okay because if I get a little bit of the red into it, it just brings the whole painting together. So I'm doing these three colors, the green, the black, and the white. I'm going in all different directions. I'm running it up into the top a little bit. I'm gonna have various shades of dark black, light green, white. It makes it interesting, but it doesn't really matter how it is, so don't fuss over it. By going in different directions, it creates an interesting texture, and that's what I'm really going for. Break it up a little bit. I'm 
Okay, we have to let this dry, and when we come back, we're gonna put our moon in. If you like painting with me on TV, you're gonna love painting with me in person, so come on down to Ponto Lambert Studio, and let's have some fun. You don't need any experience or your own supplies at my pizza and painting workshops. Discover for yourself how fun and easy it is to paint along with me. My workshops are small and intimate, so you can really relax and unwind. We'll be enjoying some delicious Rico's pizza and a great big salad too. So grab a friend and maybe even a little wine if you like, and let's get creative. Go to PontoLambertStudio.com and register today. Hello, I'm Kelly Stewart. My husband John and I co-created Sacred Pathway Sarasota as a place to explore paths to healing and wholeness. We use spiritual bodywork practices and therapies focused through the body to clear the mind and integrate the spirit. My focus is energy work and massage therapy. John's is kundalini yoga and meditation. Start your journey with us today at sacredpathwayssarasota.com. Rico's Pizzeria in Gulfgate, the place to go when you crave the only real pizza south of Jersey, serving some of the best pizza, wings, subs, and Italian specialties in Sarasota. Voted best pizza and best wings by Sarasota Magazine, and reader's choice for the best pizza in the Herald Tribune. Open seven days a week for dine-in, pickup, or delivery. Order online today at ricospizzagulfgate.com or call 941-922-9604. And don't forget the cheesecake! Your family is really special. Taking care of them with the love and dignity and medical attention that they deserve can be overwhelming. You are not alone. Discover Bayshore Guest Home and Gardens Assisted Living Facility with a limited nursing services license. Not an institution, but a real home. Small, intimate, loving. Rated in the top 1% in U.S. and Canada by Senior Advisor and a Place for Mom for four years in a row. Make Bayshore Guest Home and Gardens your home today. At Gentle Bay Sarasota Chiropractic, your back pain, sciatica, or neck pain will be treated with effective yet gentle soft tissue therapies. Dr. Eric Winder has over 18 years of experience treating even difficult chronic pain by releasing connective tissue restrictions that trigger pain and stiffness. To find out more about Gentle Bay Sarasota Chiropractic and Dr. Winder's method of relieving difficult pain, visit GentleBay.com. So a big part of the show is that painting is very therapeutic, but let's face it, painting can't fix everything, so that's why I like to have guests on the show that can help you to explore new ways that you can improve the quality of your life. So today I have with us Dr. Eric Winder. He's from Gentle Bay Chiropractic, and he's going to share with us something really unique that he does in his practice. So Dr. Winder, welcome. So thank you. So good to see you again. Thanks for having Thanks me for today. Coming. Thanks yes. very much. Um, let's start out. How did you get into the health field and um, why did you become a chiropractor? Well, today, fortunately, I am very healthy. I have good health. Um, but 25 years ago, that was not the case. Uh, I was disabled by crippling headaches. Uh, I had headaches 24 hours a day and nobody could figure them out. I saw medical specialists. I saw chiropractors massage therapists, acupuncturists, homeopaths. I tried everything and, and nothing helped at all until my sister, fortunately, she found a chiropractor that she had heard about that practiced a different type of treatment, a very gentle form of treatment. And I went to see her and she helped me get my health back. And I was able to get, go back to work and back to school and now at that time, I had been a biology major. I had graduated from, from my undergraduate program and I, was, I had offers to uh, graduate programs. I was going to get my PhD and go into research. But after my personal experience with this chiropractor and really not so much just for me, but talking to her patients in her waiting room and their experiences, uh, like me, so many people I talked to had been at wit's end, no one could help them until they came to her. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to be able to offer that level of help because I had had it and, and it, it seemed a shame to not to have more of that in the world. And so here we are uh, today. I have 21 years in practice and it's, it's been very fulfilling. 
Uh, it's been just just as uh, as much fun and, and as rewarding as I hoped it would be. Wow, that is a beautiful story. Oh, I can see why you're so passionate about what you do. So, why don't you tell us a little bit what you do that is so unique in your practice that is different than a traditional chiropractic practice? Okay. With my experience with the chiropractor that helped me, um, I already started practice with techniques that were uh, a little out of the mainstream, very gentle chiropractic techniques. Um, and also, I kept in touch with a classmate from chiropractic school, and he was telling me the fantastic successes he was having with soft tissue therapies. And he was specifically working with something called fascia, and fascia is fibrous connective tissue. It's the stuff that holds us together. And he was helping people so profoundly that he was actually invited by a group of surgeons to come and practice with them. And he encouraged me to study this also. And I started flying around the country to seminars, uh, postgraduate seminars, to study these fascial therapies. I started using them in my practice. And I saw profound, amazing results with my patients uh, you know, from the moment I started. And, and they, as I improved in my techniques, the results improved. And I eventually converted my practice over to focus solely on the, the soft tissue, on the fascial therapies. And, uh, and I've never regretted that. <laughs> this is so fascinating. I want to talk some more about this. I do have to do a little more painting, so we're going to paint for a short bit, and we're going to come back and talk to Dr. Winder in a few more minutes. Okay, now we're dry. We're going to put the moon on there. Now, a moon is round, and I know there are people that can't draw circles, and guess what? I can't either. <laughs> So this is where we don't worry, I have a little trick for you. It would be natural to start out here and try to draw your circle. We're gonna do a great big moon. But this is my little trick. I dip it in the white, titanium white. And I'm gonna start out small and I'm gonna get bigger and bigger. This way I can make it round and I can fix it as I go if it gets lopsided. I'm gonna make it a nice big moon. A little more white. Now, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm not totally, if I put this really heavy, I would make it a solid white, but I actually don't want it to be a solid white. I kind of want that gray color coming through because the moon has texture, and that gives us some nice texture on the moon. Let's see. I'm going to go even bigger. We're going to make this a big moon. I just keep going around and around until I'm happy with how it looks. Now you'll notice that the edges are a little fuzzy, and again, I kind of like that, so I'm not worried about it. If you want to have really sharp edges, you can use a different brush and make it sharp, but that's my moon. I'm going to do a little bit of dabbing, and again, that just adds texture like the moon would have. Okay, now we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. Pain that doesn't seem to go away, stress and anxiety levels through the roof, desperate for a good night's sleep, the solution could be as simple as one of the over 100 CBD tinctures, edibles, or topicals at Wild Ginger Apothecary. Stop by Wild Ginger Apothecary today at 6557 Superior Ave in the Gulf Gate Shopping Village for a sample of CBD and a complimentary one-on-one -on -one session with a holistic health educator. It might just be the solution you've been looking for. Open Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 6 and Saturday from 10 to 4. Hi, my name is Heidi Korsch and I help people with their physical and emotional pain. My clients experience profound changes and elimination in chronic pain, back pain, shoulder, neck pain, whatever it is you can think of. So if you are that person that has tried many things and is still in agony or not completely satisfied, I invite you to try my energy technique. Uh, results are felt quickly. I offer a free mini session. You got nothing to lose. Please call, uh, make your appointment, and remember, you got one body to live in. So keep it healthy, keep it strong, and keep it balanced. Hi, I'm Dr. Steven Reichback founder of the Gulf Coast Ketamine Center. If you suffer from depression or chronic pain, help is now available. Call or visit us online to see if ketamine infusion therapy is right for you. 
Ketamine infusion therapy has been shown to provide relief in 75 to 90 percent of patients when other treatments have failed. Gulf Coast Ketamine Center. Infuse your life with hope. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, I'm here with Dr. Eric Winder. He's from Gentle Bay Chiropractic. So tell us more about fascia and um, how does it cause pain? Well, so fascia is incredibly important. Not only does it basically hold us together along with our bones, it, it's, again, it's fibrous connective tissue. It's kind of like the fabric of our bodies. And fascia is everywhere. It covers our muscles, our bones, our joints, our organs, everywhere. It's everywhere throughout the entire body. And fascia has some of the most important nerve endings in the whole body. We have, we, we're all taught in grade school or at some point in our lives, we learn about the five senses, vision, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. And there is another sense that is actually more important than any of those senses. And that is it has a fancy medical term called proprioception, and what proprioception is, is position sense. And so what I mean by position sense is, if I close my eyes, I still know where all my body parts are. I don't fall off of this stool. I know that my finger is over there. I can take my finger and touch my nose. Well, how do I know where, where those parts are? And the nerve endings that give us position sense are embedded all throughout our body in the fascia. And, and this information that we get from these nerves is so important for posture. It's what, what allows coordinated motion. It's the reason we can walk and talk and, and eat and brush our teeth or anything that you physically do, you need this information. And the fascia can develop restrictions and distortions that create little glitches, little bits of confusion in position sense. That can lead to muscular imbalance and joint misalignment and pain. Ah. Since fascia is everywhere in the body, um, what conditions do you most often treat in your office? Uh, quite a few. Um, I see a lot of traditional chiropractic problems, back pain and neck pain, sciatica, uh, rotator cuff, shoulder problems. But because, again, fascia is everywhere through the whole body and can create problems everywhere, I treat a lot of extremity problems. I treat knee arthritis and elbow tendonitis, carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, chronic ankle sprain, uh, just a whole host of different issues from head to toe. I treat a lot of, of foot pain, foot problems. And, um, and, and what might be a surprise to some people, sometimes even organ issues can be related to fascial restriction. For example, I, I have a number of people that get relief with irritable bowel syndrome and, and gastric reflux because of restrictions around the trunk and abdomen. Um, and I, I treat uh, also a lot of people with post-surgical <clears throat> post issues uh, after knee replacements, hip replacements, spinal fusion surgeries, and uh, those people often get quite a lot of relief uh, with the fascia work because even though the surgery may have been critical and may help them, sometimes the surgery itself creates restrictions in the fascia that create pain and, and limitation. Now, if our viewers would like to contact you directly, how do they go about doing that? Uh, our website is gentlebay.com, and the phone number of our clinic is 941-957-8390. Oh, thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you very much, Catherine. All right. Okay, welcome back. Our moon is dry now. We're gonna put a little color on there, and I'm going to use cadmium red and cadmium yellow. Now I'm going to actually dip it in both colors and I'm actually going to dip it in the water a little bit because I want it to be wet. I almost want it to go on like watercolor. That's kind of bright. One of the ways you can fix it if it goes on too bright like that did is take your little rag and smear it. Now we're talking. That's what I was looking for. I'm looking for kind of a almost like a wash. I'm going to leave part of it white because I think that looks interesting too. So now we've got our moon. Now the next thing we're going to do is put in the ground. So for the ground, I'm going to use my ankle brush. Love this brush. I use this brush for almost everything. I'm going to dip it in the Mars Black. 
and I'm going to make a little bit of a ground here. There's going to be a hill. Doesn't matter what it looks like. I don't want to just go straight across because that's kind of boring. Now this is Florida. We don't have too many hills in Florida. But I don't know if this is a Florida scene. This is more anything goes. Okay, now we have the bottom done. We're going to put a tree and this is going to be kind of a big, I don't want to say ominous, but a nice nighttime tree. It's going to have a trunk, it's going to kind of go up like this and it's going to bend over like that. Trees grow in weird ways. So don't go straight up and down for this one. We're not painting a telephone pole. I'm going to have a branch that kind of comes out this way. And you want to make the lines kind of crooked. So you have a little bit of branches that go here and there. Make it a little wider at the base. Another branch right here. Put a little branch. A few little branches. Not a whole lot. We are going to add more branches later, so I'm going to start with that. There's my tree. Now I'm going to put some shadowed leaves in. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to crumple it up and I'm going to dip it in the black. Now when you first dip it, sometimes you get a big glob, so I like to just get some of the big globs off. And I'm going to start dabbing on here. These are going to be the idea of leaves. over here, and put some down here, a little bit more, put some up here. Later I'm going to have a branch coming in here, so I'm going to put some up here where the branch is going to be. It's amazing how dabbing with a paper towel can create such a great effect. Just creating the illusion of some leaves that are silhouetted in the shadows. Okay, now we need to let this dry and we'll be right back. If you like painting with me on TV, you're gonna love painting with me in person. So come on down to Ponto Lambert Studio and let's have some fun. You don't need any experience or your own supplies at my pizza and painting workshops. Discover for yourself how fun and easy it is to paint along with me. My workshops are small and intimate so you can really relax and unwind. We'll be enjoying some delicious Rico's pizza and a great big salad too. So grab a friend and maybe even a little wine if you like and let's get creative. Go to pontolambertstudio.com and register today. At Gentle Bay Sarasota Chiropractic, your back pain, sciatica or neck pain will be treated with effective yet gentle soft tissue therapies Dr. Eric Winder has over 18 years of experience treating even difficult chronic pain by releasing connective tissue restrictions that trigger pain and stiffness. To find out more about Gentle Bay Sarasota Chiropractic and Dr. Winder's method of relieving difficult pain, visit GentleBay.com. Hello, I'm Kelly Stewart. My husband John and I co-created Sacred Pathway Sarasota as a place to explore paths to healing and wholeness. We use spiritual bodywork practices and therapies focused through the body to clear the mind and integrate the spirit. My focus is energy work and massage therapy. John's is kundalini yoga and meditation. Start your journey with us today at sacredpathwayssarasota.com. Heartwing Massage Therapy, your home for excellent therapeutic massage, is a warm and inviting oasis away from your busy life. Owner and massage therapist Renee Escobar has over 25 years of professional experience specializing in Swedish deep tissue, myofascial release, chronic pain, stress reduction, and more. Located in Sarasota's beautiful Snug Harbor Village, you can visit heartwingmassage.com or call 253-686-9708 to schedule your appointment today. Okay, welcome back. Now our black is dry, and it's always good to take a little break, step back from your painting, 
and then come back and look at it with fresh eyes. So during the break, I realized I wanted to have one more branch going in here, so I added another branch and a little more dabbing with the black. Now we're gonna add some blossoms, and we're gonna use cadmium red and titanium white, and we're, once again, paper towel. Don't use the same paper towel that you use with the black because that would be a mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna scrunch it up and I'm gonna dip it both in the red and the white and I'm gonna kinda of smush it together a little bit to make a pink. And I'm gonna dab it a little bit on my plate. I wanna have some pink going on. Now you'll notice that you get red and white and pink and I love this. We've got a branch coming in right here with these beautiful blossoms on them. We've got one up here. Now see how I got kind of a big glob there? Don't worry about that. I, I usually don't mind when it looks like that. At the end, if I don't like it, you can always cover it up. This is fun and this is so relaxing. It's so fun to just see how it unfolds. It kind of has a mind of its own. I'm gonna put a few here. I don't want to put them everywhere because I don't want to be too much. Just a hint of them down here. A little bit of a hint here. This is my main part. We've got kind of two big branches going on here in both corners and that's where I'm really going to emphasize it. Now I got to stand back and take a look. Yeah, I'm pretty good with that. Put a little bit more here. This time I use more white. One thing that I notice that people do sometimes is they just put it everywhere, but it really should be kind of in clumps because these are little flowers or something. We don't know exactly what they are. This is called creative license. And they tend to grow in clumps. So if you just do it everywhere, then it just looks like a big spotted mess. So be a little bit discerning where you put them and try to break it up. Some are a little thin, some are kind of thick. And there we have it. That is our blood moon. This is the part of the show where I get to thank you, the viewers, for making this show a success. Art is meant to be shared, and I want to share my art with you. So two viewers this week are going to get a special package in the mail, and it'll either be a painting or a gift certificate from me. This week's winners are Christine Cole and Rosalie Lowe. Congratulations. Go to artforhealingproject.com and join the Viewer Appreciation Club to automatically be entered to win in our weekly show giveaway. Also, if you'd like to get a weekly text reminder from me an hour before the show with a photo of this week's painting project, text the word PAINT to 797979. So that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you, Dr. Winder, for joining us. And if you like today's project, but you don't really have the supplies or want to paint it by yourself, go to pontolambertstudio.com, get in touch with me, and we'll paint it together. So until next time, have a fantastic week.